Welcome to Rad Art, a show where I pick something out of pop culture that I'm excited about. Tell you why I'm excited about it. And then I draw it and I try a different technique just about every single time. Before that, let's do some housekeeping. You may have noticed that there haven't been a lot of Rad Arts recently. Well, let me, let me get you in on the scoop. That's not what they say. Counting this video, for the rest of 2017, there are gonna be four red arts. That's two in November and two in December. After that, there might be some changes. I don't know, you gotta stick around. You gotta find out, but keep watching, yeah? These videos are also going up on Thursdays now, so that's what's going on. That's what's happening. Now you're in the know, and we can talk about Coco! Hey, it rhymed! This week, I got to use a medium that I've really wanted to use for a very long time. So what's more perfect than, like, sugar icing on a sugar cookie for a sugar skull. Let's get into it! Disney and Pixar's new movie Coco premiered this week, and it's already the highest grossing movie to ever open in Mexico, and it's well on its way to beating Justice League in the States. Let's hope that happens with everything that's going on, and I'll get more into that later, but for now. Coco tells the story of Miguel, a young boy with dreams of becoming an accomplished musician. However, his family has a ban on music going back generations. Desperate to prove his talent, Miguel finds himself in the land of the dead, and together with a charming trickster named Hector, the two embark on a journey to unlock the real story behind Miguel's family history. And yeah, I basically read that from Google. Now, at a time where the President of the United States is painting Mexicans as degenerates and rapists, one might say it's nice to see a film that throws that label on the floor. Honestly, I teared up when I was reading some of the reviews that Latino reviewers were writing about this film. Vanessa Erzo, the head film editor at Remezcla, writes, As a Mexican Salvadorian American who grew up on a steady diet of Hollywood Angelo films and the Hispanic Hollywood movies of the 80s, La Bamba, Born in the East, Stand and Deliver, there may never be a more important production than Pixar's Coco. It's a blissful hug of acceptance at a time when the very existence of Latinos in this country is criminalized. Coco is like a freshly made tamale on Christmas Eve, or a loud mariachi song waking you up on a Sunday morning. It feels like home. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm white. <laughs> I know I'm privileged. I I've never felt like I haven't been able to see myself in the characters I see on screen. I can't genuinely imagine what that feels like. But what I can do is be an ally and see this movie. Let's show Hollywood that these are the kinds of Latin characters we want to see. In Kiko Martinez's words, another reviewer, these smartly written, emotionally driven characters are what Latino audiences should expect going forward. Salsa dancing, nacho eating, lucha libre mask wearing stereotypes never cut it before, and Coco proves why that representation should never be an option again if studios hope to capture authenticity in its storytelling. She calls out Latino audiences here, but fuck Let's broaden that to American audiences, because you know what? I'm feeling rowdy. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. As of me recording this, John Lasseter, the chief creative officer of Pixar, has taken a six-month leave of absence over sexual assault allegations. This wave of victims coming forward in Hollywood is incredible. People are starting to feel safe speaking out about their worst traumas, and that's good. But don't boycott this movie. Never before has a movie that features an all-Latino cast cost more than eight figures in its production budget. So if Coco bombs, if people don't see the one movie Disney has made that's based around Latin culture, the blame won't be on Lasseter and his grabby hands. Speak out against sexual assault, but don't let the large number of Mexicans and Mexican-Americans who poured their hearts into this film get shafted. Go see Coco. Like and subscribe. Also, we've got merch. And if you like me, my name's Beth B. Rad on YouTube and Twitch. Everything's down in the description. While you're down there, go ahead and tell me what you want Rad Art to be next year, because I'm kind of curious what you guys would like to see me do, hey? Right? Yeah? Cool. I'll see you later. Bye.